Welcome back to Live in the Bay. They've been a staple in the Bay Area community for over a century. Swan Oyster Depot is your one-stop shop for your seafood needs. And joining me now are brothers and co-owners and operators, Steve and Tom Sanchimino. Thank you guys for joining me on Live in the Bay. Thank you for having us. Very Thanks. exciting. Okay, now first, before we get into the shucking, because we all know that's what everyone's looking forward to seeing, I want to know a little bit of the history with Swan Oyster Depot. How did it get started over 100 years ago? Well, it was started by four Danish brothers mm -hmm. who opened in our present location in 1912. Uh, prior to that, they had a smaller business, a block down on Polk Street. But after the fire and earthquake, they reloqu relocated at 1517 Polk. Okay, and didn't it, correct me if I'm wrong, it started off with the brothers delivering seafood with horses and a cart, right? Absolutely. And you guys don't do that anymore? Come on. Uh, you had to get rid of the horse. <laughs> you had to get rid of the horse? Yeah, it got old. Okay, but the, you're still going with the brother theme. So when did you guys come into the picture with Swan Oyster Depot? Well, as children, our dad, you have to understand, there's six boys in our family. Mm -hmm. So until our sister came along, it was just Your poor mother, six boys. Six, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but we got to the point when we were young, my mother would say to our father, take two or three of these kids and get them out of this house. So he would take us to work. Mm -hmm. We would go down there in the morning, stay till 11 o'clock, and a delivery guy would drop us at home. Wow, okay, so your dad actually started working at the Swan Oyster Depot, bringing you guys there as kids, and now here you are. Yep. Yes. And now you're co-owners and operators. We thought we were having fun. You we were actually fun. working. <laughs> and now we're bringing our children to work. How amazing is that? And how has Swan Oyster Depot transformed over the years since you guys have been able, been able to take over as brothers? Tom. We haven't uh, changed <laughs> too much, actually. It's kind of like uh, an anachronism, as my dad used to say. It's, uh, we're still doing the same thing they did 100 years ago. Oh, yeah? We've, we've added a few things. So when we were, when we were kids, it. my dad started making salads. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we've added a few things. Okay, but, so uh, you're sticking with the good. tradition. I like that. I like that. All right, well, explain to our viewers what we have here. What did you bring? And then we're going to do some shucking. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> okay. Be don't worry. Okay, so what we brought is there's three different seeds here, three different oysters. Mm -hmm. From the east coast is a Virginicus, frequently Blue Point, uh, Malpec. Mm -hmm. In the center is a Kumamoto, and then on the right is a, a Miyagi, also known, most people call him a Jigas. Mm -hmm. This is the most predominant oyster grown on the Pacific coast. Okay, and what, for those who don't know, like myself, but also some of our viewers, what is the biggest difference between the three? Well, you could try to explain to someone the difference, but you have to taste it okay. to really find out whether it's briny, whether it's creamy, or whether it's kind of almost neutral. So we tell people in the store, the best thing to do is to start off with a real mild, delicate tasting oyster, mm -hmm. like a Blue Point. If you take this oyster, squeeze a little bit of lemon on it. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. This is the traditional way, correct? Absolutely. With lemon. Just a little bit of lemon. Are you, you guys are traditional guys? You like the, the traditional way? Traditional. Yeah. Or, here we I go. Can just take one. Bottoms up. Mmm. Mm hmm. Now, Fresh. The lemon, the acidity is perfect. A perfect balance. I like the traditional way. Okay. So another oyster, which is a little, a little more flavor, mm -hmm. a little buttery, would be a Kumamoto. And eat this one just plain. Plain. No sauces. No sauce. Nothing. All right. You're not. You're gonna direct me in the wrong way, right? No. We never <laughs> do that. Okay. Here we go. Bottoms up. This is oyster number two. We're trying this one the traditional way. Kumamoto. 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 Uh-oh. I couldn't get it. <laughs> I, need you, I need your help. Hold on. Oh. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. We're still going to try it. Still going to try it here. All right. Bottoms up. A little different flavor. Is this the one the pearls come from? 
Yeah, yes? absolutely. How did I know that? In fact, let's mm -hmm. see, no, not this one. <laughs> it's not this one. Strike one. Okay, that one is good. I, I agree it's with a the, but the buttery taste. That's a different moto. <laughs> It's a different one. All right, you guys gonna show me how to shuck, right? Yes, we are. All right, let's try the shucking. Okay. I, 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 I gotta, I gotta yeah. give it a we're try. Gonna, we're gonna let Tom show yeah. you how to shuck an oyster. Okay. I'm not a very good teacher. <laughs> Here, you wanna that's take, okay. we'll, we'll you wanna take right a knife? Okay, in either one? Yeah. All right. Whichever one you want. Here, take one of those. That should be the easier one. Okay. That's a local tamales. Tell me, tell me how we do That's it. That's a tamales Miyagi. Tamales. So what you got to understand is you got mm -hmm. two sides of the oysters. Mm -hmm. You got the hinges over here. You want to go in the other side. Got it. Are you right-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay. I would I would come in from right here. That's okay. a kind of a weak part of the shell. Okay. And so I'm going to hold you got it. A deep, you got a deep shell and you got a flat shell. Mm -hmm. You want to put the flat shell uh, side up. Okay. And you're going to go in. There's only one adductor muscle and it's right there. You want to go in right there and you go... Okay, so I muscle. dig in and I... Well, don't Where dig. do we start it out for? Go like yeah, this here. Give me a little help. There we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. I need I just go a like little this. help. There. Here we go. There we go, so the viewers can no. see this shucking. No, I got you a little hole there. Okay, you can so I just... Get your knife down there and you want to scrape it along the bottom of the deep shell. And you're going to cut the adductor muscle. And is it right or left? Do I go right or left with it? Mm. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you kind of guide. Go right down. Oh. Oh no. Uh uh. I'm gonna stick. To, I'm gonna stick to TV <laughs> and leave this one to the professionals. There's your oyster. <laughs> it is beautiful though. Look at how beautiful the oyster. Olivia, you did a perfect job. You Thank opened that. You. Now Thank this. You so much. You're awesome. I appreciate now, it. Now this one. You're gonna have to come to work for us. The oyster you eat last. Okay. This is our final oyster. Do I put any kind of sauce on this one, or am I going classic? You know what? Let's do this one a little touch of horseradish. Okay, just a touch. And I mean a touch. Okay, here we go. Get the beer. Save the best for last, right? That's mm -hmm. the briny one. Oh, that horseradish is strong. Yeah. Okay, thank you, gentlemen, for coming <laughs> on the show. I appreciate you so much. I wasn't able to shuck, but you did it for you me. You did it perfect. <laughs> if you want to learn more about Swan Oyster Depot, <laughs> Head to liveinthebay.tv, but stay right there because after the break, we have a look at what is coming up on tomorrow's show when we celebrate National Fudge Day. Live in the Bay will be back in 60 seconds. Oh my goodness.